Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Robinson Maroon Basketball. Tonight, the Teotopolis Wooden Shoes invade the Maroons gym, an undefeated team, so the Maroons are going to have their work cut out for them tonight. I'm Jim Kincaid, along with Dwayne Shaw. Ron Wheeler's behind the camera, and we're a part of worldwide sound and video production. And we're coming to you tonight through the courtesy of Triax Cable Vision. Tonight's game brought to you by First Robinson Savings Bank, American Legion in Robinson, Rural King Supply, Cellular One in Robinson, Graves Auto Group, Crawford Memorial Hospital, Hershey Chocolate in Robinson, Marathon Tire, Kemper CPA Group, Big Buck Building Center, and Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. Well, as I said, the uh, Teotopolis Wooden Shoes, uh, always a tough ball club, come into tonight's ball game undefeated. And as we get prepared for the starting lineups tonight, the Robinson High School Pep Band will play our national anthem. As you said, Jim, Teotopolis 9-0, perfect season so far, and ranked number three in the state right now. Uh, Ken Crawford, the uh, coach there for many years, has them, has them on a roll, and they go with th two seniors and three juniors, and they got big people on the bench, so uh, they're going to be a force for a number of years. They'll line up at 6'5", 6 6'4", 6 6 foot, 5'11", and 5'11". The two guards, bookends, Mitch Custer, a 5'11", junior, wearing number 21, and Johnny King, a 5'11", junior, wearing number 23. Forward Steve Meddy, 6'4", senior, wearing 55, and Doug Probst, wearing number 25, a six-foot senior. And in the middle is Mitch Primer, a 6'5", junior, wearing number 43. Coached by Mr. Ken Crawford. Maroons will counter tonight with, uh, with Jeff McKeegan, number five, a 5'8", sophomore, one guard, Jason Young, a 5'9", junior, the other guard, spot number 23. Forwards, Justin Hartrick, number 33, a 5'11", sophomore, and Sean Holman, number 44, a 6'4", senior, and Bo Slater, a 6'6", senior, wearing double knot in the middle. Coached by Mr. Tad Everett, 3-6, three, 3-6, six, three six, one loss record as we entered a nice game. Well, a couple of tough ball games for the Maroons. Uh, last Friday night up at Charleston took a pretty good thumping and uh, a couple of the kids off the bench though played pretty well. Justin Hartrick came in the ball game, hit some threes and uh, earned a spot to play. Sullivan, Indiana came over Saturday night, again beat the Maroons. Sullivan's a ranked team over in Indiana, so the Maroons are not getting any breaks with the competition they're playing. And it doesn't get any better after tonight they open the holiday tournament against Muhammad Seymour, who's ranked what? Like third or fourth in, uh, in the Class A. So uh, it, it just, like you said, it don't get any easier. Well, we're ready to tip off here. Terry Andrews, Eddie Gardner, and Steve DeClark wearing the striped shirts tonight. Plummer and Slater will go at it in the center circle. And T Town takes control. Mitch Custer with it out front. Whips it over to Probst. The shot's no good. Rebound Bo Slater. Got a foul called <laughs> right off the bat. It's going to be on Justin Hartrick. <clears throat> So it'll be T-Town ball. They'll get to keep it. And they'll throw it out from under the porch here. And they throw it away. away. We're going to kick it back and go the other direction. All right. Well, the Maroons got a break. Hartrick will bring it in. Full court pressure by T-Town. That's nothing new. 
Jason Young will handle the ball. Work against Johnny King as he takes it across the line. That's uh, Mitch Custer, rather, on defense. He, he's got a hold of the basket. Jason takes it down in and scores. Good move by Jason Young. He saw the lane and took it, drove it to the basket and scored. Inside to King underneath, puts it up, no good. Jeff McKeegan, shortest guy on the floor, picks up the rebound. Good work by the Maroons, good blocking out that time as Jeff had good position. Good defense by the wooden shoes. And we've got five the five count. Ten. So that turnover will give it to the T-Town. Maroons get first blood in the ball game tonight. They lead it two to nothing. From the three-point line, no good. Propes with a rebound. T-Town will keep it. Custer. Over to Probst, back in underneath. This time it falls. Steve Metty. We're tied at two. Jason Young on the drive, off the glass, no good. Put back by Hartrick, no good. And Slater is fouled on the rebound. Maroons will have it out underneath. McKeegan goes out to do the chores. Out deep. Step must on have the stepped line. on the end line. Must have as he threw it in. So uh, give it to T-Town. Custer will bring it down. Young picks him up at center court. From the corner for three, and that's good, Mitch Custer. Jason Young looks for help. Drives inside, kicks it back to Slater. Slater a 10-footer, got it. Bo Slater. One point ball game, T Town by one, 5 4. We play, played about two and a half minutes. King kicks it back outside to Custer. Mitch puts it up and got it. 7 4, wooden shoes. Jeff McKeegan will work it down the floor. Over to Jason Young. They get the count, got to move it. Justin Hartrick gets back to McKeegan. Now to Slater. Sean Homer in the picture. And now Young. Good defense by T-Town as they really stick with that man-to-man. -man. Slater takes it inside, back out to Sean Homer again, and we'll run it again. Inside, nice break by McKeon. Knocked out of bounds on a good block by T-Town. <laughs> Seven to four, T-Town, they lead it by three. They've got the ball. The drive. Mitch Custer will go to the line and shoot a pair of them here. Well, the first Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you. And they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Don't forget that for the best deal in tires, stop in a Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price. At Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. He missed them both, I don't believe that. Maroons come off with a rebound. Jason Young works hard. McKeegan in the corner. Slater to Jason. Jason. 
Slater the baseline route, puts up the short one. Oh, dishes it off to Homer. T-Town comes up with a loose ball, and it's Johnny King all the way. Count the bucket, and there's a foul. Jason Young with the foul, his first third team foul. One shot for King. He made the bucket. Missed the shot. Slater gets a rebound. Did they miss three free throws now? T Town, yes. they keep them cold if they stay cold on the line and from the field, that'll sure help. Jeff McKeegan. Robinson running a patient offense here. T Town switched to his own this possession. Hartrick let Justin shoot, get him opened up. He can hit the threes. Knocked away on the steal. Johnny King takes it down. Has Locked. it knocked away by <laughs> Jeff McKeegan. Terry Andrews with a nice catch. <laughs> well, a good block shot by McKeegan. T-Town's ball. King takes it in. Probst on the drive. Won't go. Rebound. Loose. Put back up and in. By. And I lost out on that. Steve Who was Meddy it? Again. Steve Meddy again. We've got a timeout call. 11-4. T-Town leads. Is well, Cellular One's located on the east side of the square in Robinson, and they're ready to take care of all your cellular needs. Stop in and sign up on a qualifying plan, and you'll get a free phone, free activation, free evenings and weekends for three months, and free Mr. Rescue for three months. You'll get double the minutes on the plan you sign up for, so don't miss out on this special offer. That's at Cellular One at their new location next to the Payroll Appliance Building on the east side of the square in Robinson. Was that a maroon timeout? I think it was. Okay. A little under three minutes to go in the first quarter. McKeegan takes it down against Custer. They set that zone again. Inside to Slater, back out to McKeegan. McKeegan. From the corner, got it, nice shot for Jeff, 11-6. Foul's gonna be called on Sean Homer. Reached around, got caught at it. Should be out of bounds to T-Town. Team foul number four. From outside for three, no good. Loose ball picked up Hartrick. Nope, lost it. And uh, Prummer come out with the ball. Now to Custer, won't go. Rebound underneath, hard. Meddy gets his own rebound again. Takes it back outside. Inside to Meddy again, uses his body. Custer from the corner, won't go. Meddy, rebound, McKeegan. Let's see if they jump it up. Jump ball. Jeff McKeegan got a hold of the ball, tied it up. Robinson ball with a possession arrow. We've got a minute 57 to go in the quarter. Robinson a chance to cut into this lead a little at 11 to 6 it is. It's been a pretty good first quarter here. Down to Hartrick. Tries to go inside to Slater. Got it. Nice pass by Hartrick. Slater picked it up and dropped it in. 11-8, three-point ball game. The drive to the bucket, won't go. Rebound Jason Young, fast break. Jason all the way, got the shot. Good move by Jason as he took it right to the boards. 11-10, it's a one-point game. T-Town, got the shot. Who? Custer, I think. I'm getting it to him anyway. A minute. 11 to go. Loose ball out of bounds. Maroons will keep it. 13 to 10 is the score. And checking into the ball game now for. Um, you got him? Yeah, Paul Willenberg. 6 2 There it is. Couldn't find it. 
Wollenberg comes in for T-Town. Let's see, Bo Slater checks out and Sean Homer, Mickey Walton in and Brandon uh, Hardiman in for the Maroons. A minute seven, McKeegan's got the ball, looks for help, gets it to Brandon Hardiman. Brandon travel with the ball. T-Town will get it back. They lead it by three. King drops it inside to Wollenberg. Nance back out. T-Town will swing it around again. Maroons in his own the last two possessions. Both coaches switching things up a little bit. Hardiman with a rebound. Good job. Well, chance to tie here with a three. 13-10. Maroons just trail it by three with about 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Been a good first quarter. Mickey Walton with it to Hartrick. Jason Young back out to Brandon Hardiman. Got to do something here. Move inside by Brandon. Got the shot. Won't go. Rebound picked out of there by Matty. Down come the wooden shoes. Six seconds. A three-point attempt. Got it. Johnny King. Big three. 16-10, the quarter's going to end on that as McKeegan, oh boy, <laughs> he dropped her off the backboard. 16-10 as we end the quarter. Well, impress all your friends and relatives with your new Aristocrat Kitchen Cabinets from Big Buck Building Center in Robinson. Big Buck offers free computer design, free estimates, and free in-home measuring. There's no time like the present to get started. You'll have that beautiful kitchen you've always wanted with new Aristocrat kitchen cabinets from Big Buck Building Center at 501 South Howard in Robinson. Let Big Buck design a kitchen for you. Tax time's coming. Be sure you see the Kemper CPA Group for your year-end tax planning strategies so that you're covered for all the new tax law changes. Good luck to the Maroons from Kemper CPA Group in Robinson. See the Kemper CPA Group for all your tax preparation. Well, make your fall cleanup job a little easier this year with Echo Leaf Blowers and Steel Chainsaws from Real King Supply. See Real King Supply for all your cleanup needs located on Route 33 east of Robinson. We've played a quarter, 16-10. T-Town leads it by six. They'll start the second quarter off with possession. King holds it out front. Betty has it knocked away. Custer will pick it up. T-Town will keep it. Derek Gaddis, number 13, with the ball in the ball game here on the quarter. Traveling call, turnover, give it to the Maroons. <clears throat> Maroons change defenses again. We're back to a man. And so is Teotopoulos. McKeegan gets it down across the timeline. Sean Homer gets it to Slater. Hardiman, good pass to Jason Young underneath. Up and in. Nice job. 16-12, T-Town by four. Look out, here comes Gaddis. Hands it off to Wollenberg. Wollenberg scores, and we've got a man down. I think Homer. with an elbow. Homer took an elbow in the um, eye, it looks like. Probably a you know, contact lens. Looks a like blood. a little cut. Yeah. yeah, a little cut on the eye. So he'll have to come out. And uh, let's see, Justin Hartrick comes back in here. <clears throat> Maroons will keep it. Jason Young takes it down. Jason in a crowd, looks for help. Still needs some help. Do something in a hurry, guys. There's the count. That's a turnover. 
Couldn't get anybody open. T-Town with it. Jason Herboth in the game, number 35, you'll see for T-Town over there on the other wing. Checked in a minute ago, I missed him. Derek Gaddis in too, the 13. Willenberg. Paul Willenberg. T-Town now by eight, 20 to 12. Jason Young got the shot away, rebound Hardeman, works underneath, puts back it up, won't go, won't fall, lid on the bucket. T-Town back with it, and that's Mitch Custer. Took it over, turn over, give it back to the Maroons. Good call, Betty Gardner. You don't see that call much. No, you don't, not of, anymore. A lot of people carry the ball and get away with it. Not anymore, you don't. Hartrick will bring it in, gives it to McKeegan. Hardiman looks for help here. Now McKeegan. Tia Topless is just playing a good defense. Bo Slater from 10. Got the shot. Bo's got a hot spot right over there. 20 to 14. <clears throat> Maroons trail by six with a little over five minutes to go and a half. Cross court to Gaddis for three. In and out. Rebound. Justin Hartrick to McKeegan. Jeff gets it over to Jason Young. Yeah, or uh, Herboth on him. Let's see, what do we got? A foul, but I'm not sure where it went. Blue 55, Steve Meddy. It's only the second team foul against Teotopolis, first against Meddy. King checks back in the ball game for T-Town as Herboth goes out. Jeff McKeegan will bring it in. To Brandon Hardiman. Boy, we got a screen, and let's see. And Jason Young set the screen, and uh, let's see, who is that? Gaddis. Gaddis just ran right over him. So, Hartrick's got it in the corner. Hardiman traveled. Oh, darn it. Maroons running their offense pretty well. T-Town, they're a good defensive ball club. And they've, they've been playing it tough. 20 to 14, T-Town by six with 440 to go here in the half. Gaddis handles it out front, goes down in the corner. Dropped inside. Blocked by McKeegan. Boy, he's got his hands in the way several again. times, done it again. I think they, uh, Jeff jumps very well and they just don't anticipate how high he can get off the floor. Good defense by the Maroons, stolen by McKeegan. Took right out of Meddy's hands. Jeff takes it down. Jason Young to Mickey Walton, to Hardiman. Brandon goes inside, he took it over. Twenty to fourteen, still that six-point ball game here. Custer handles the ball out front for the wooden shoes, takes it inside, tries to force a shot, traveling call, give it back to the Maroons. Robinson playing pretty well here. Sean Homer checks back in for Mickey Walton. They've played good defense and they've played pretty well offensively. They're working at it. Young with the ball. Everybody cutting for the basket. Jason now gets a lane, puts up the shot. Foul's gonna be called on the floor. It'll be out of bounds to the Maroons.
Johnny King with a foul, his first. Walton checks back in, and Hartrick will come out. Hardiman from 12 won't go. Gets his own rebound. Good job. Stepped on the line. Well, he was following his shot in. That's a good move. He was going after it. Got his foot on the line. Still a six-point game, 20 to 14, with 3:20 to go in the half. From the corner, there's a three-pointer, Johnny King. 23 to 14 now as the T-Town stretches it to nine. McKeegan over to Jason Young. Jason, 15-footer, got it. Good shot, good work by Jason. The thing that the Maroons are doing that I'm seeing in this game, they're working without the ball on offense. They, all these guys are moving, mm -hmm. and T-Town plays a tough defense. Willemberg put it up softly and got the roll. 25-16, nine-point lead by the wooden shoes. Foul is going to be called on Mitch Custer. His first 15 foul. Maroons ball. Well, the restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson's open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner and Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion, E.M. Kohler post 69 in Robinson. We're changing the guard here. Yeah. McKeegan handles it out front to Sean Homer. Now Hartrick with it. Mickey Walton back in the game there over in the corner. Knocked away. T-Town, fast break. Well, we, we had a new face. Gobzinski got in the ball game, and that was him that took the shot uh, on the fast break, and he'll go to the line to shoot two of them. Andrew Gobzinski. A 6'6 junior. Justin Hartrick got the foul, his second. Braves Auto Group's got a variety of Ford products to choose from, like the Ranger with four doors, the F-Series, all now with four doors, the Super Duty in 44 different models, the Expedition, the Explorer, and the Windstar, now with dual power doors. And all are now available at Graves Auto Group in Robinson. See, Homer's back in the game. Uh, Bo Slater comes back in, rather. Young, Hardiman, and McKeegan on the floor now for the Maroons. Gobzinski with his second shot. He was injured in a car wreck last summer, as I understand it. Hurt his knee pretty badly. Been a long time coming back. He's got a nice touch on that free throw, hasn't he? 27 16. It's the biggest lead of the night for Tia Topless. We've got a minute 40 to go here in the half. Jason Young on a good move, comes back out with it though. Looks for oh, help Slater with Bo Slater. Right oh, wide open, isn't he? Nobody could see it. McKeegan, Hardiman, inside the arc, got the two. Oh, gave him three. three, gave him three. Big three for Brandon Hardiman. That's his first bucket of the night, isn't it? See him loosen up. 27-19, T-Town. King in the corner with it. Slater guards him inside of Gobzinski. Andrew takes it to the bucket. Did he travel? Yes, travel. he did. 57 seconds. Maroons a chance to cut this lead a little. It's been a good first half for him. Sean Homer back to McKeegan. Hardiman drops it off to Jason Young, takes it back outside to McKeegan. 30 seconds. Maroons playing a patient offense. And the crowd gets into it here.
13 seconds. They're going for the last shot. Jeff McKeegan works hard under 10 now. Jeff gets the shot off the glass, and he's back. He'll go to the line to shoot two. We've got six seconds left. Miss Custer drew the foul, his second. Got one. Now we're coming into the ball game for the Maroons real quickly now. Hartrick, Scheimer, and Walt will come in. And uh, Slater, Homer, and Hardiman will go out. No, uh, so there will not be any silly fouls here on the rebounds with six seconds to go and a half. Got them both. 27 21, six point ball game. Five seconds, down in a hurry. Mitch Custer falls on the floor, loses the ball. From the corner, won't go. And the Maroons have played a good first half against T Town. It's 27 21. They trail it by six. Well, I got some work to do here while you do some working. Talk a little bit about stress, because when you serve on the board of directors of Crawford Memorial Hospital, there's a lot of responsibilities, and it's easy to see why people feel stressed out and depressed around the holidays. So while you're taking care of everything on your list during the holiday season, Crawford Memorial Hospital and Health Services would like to remind you to take care of yourself, too. Get plenty of rest and go easy on the rich food. Exercise, and don't feel guilty about scaling back on your activities. Call your doctor to find out more and on behalf of our family of professionals caring for your family, have a happy and healthy holiday. Well, tonight's ball game is brought to you in part by the First Robinson Savings Bank. They're happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you, and they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. We'll pick up a little bit of the Christmas show here at halftime with the uh, Robinson Maroon students. We got Frosty the Snowman out there, obviously. Well, while they do Frosty the Snowman, we'll remind you that the weather is changing, and we'd like to remind you that Rural King supplies your winter weather headquarters. For Carhartt Insulated Outerwear, Polar King by Key, a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus Northerner boots by Service and Lacrosse Insulated boots, that's all a Real King supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. Want some totals while we're watching here? Go ride with it. We got Santa Claus out there. I don't see Rudolph anymore. Teotopolis leading 27 21, scoring by quarters. Teotopolis 16 to, against 10 in the first quarter. And uh, <laughs> we Robinson, just lost Santa Claus. <laughs> Robinson uh, got the edge 11 to 9 in the second quarter. Their leading scorer for uh, Teotopolis is Johnny King with eight points, and Mitch Custer with seven. Uh, Paul Willenberg off the bench with six, Steve Meddy with four, and Andy Kopczynski with two points. Three three-point baskets, uh, one by Custer, two by King, two for five from the line. Committed six fouls, two on Mitch Custer, and one each on Derek Gaddis, Johnny King, Mitch Primer, and Steve Meddy. Robinson uh, leading scorer, Jason Young, uh, good first half with eight points, six points for Bo Slater, uh, Jeff McKeegan with four, and three points Brandon Hardiman. Uh, one three-point basket that comes by Brandon Hardiman and two for two from the line. Committed five fouls, two on Justin Hartrick and one each on Jeff McKeegan, Jason Young, and Sean Homer. Rebounding, uh, Robinson with a slight edge, nine to seven. Turnovers, uh, Robinson with nine, Teotopolis with six. So it's 27 to 21 at halftime. Well, for the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. And be sure you see Kemper CPA Group for your year-end tax planning strategies so that you're covered for all the new tax law changes. So good luck to the Maroons from the Kemper CPA Group in Robinson. See Kemper CPA for all your tax preparation needs. Well, you know, we've seen a different ball club out here tonight in this first half than what we've seen the last couple of nights. These guys have been moving on offense. They're working hard, and they're creating 
some of their own breaks. Obviously struggling over the last two or three ball games, desperately looking for something positive to happen, and I think it has here in this first half. Well, why half two? Things look good. And uh, the thing that uh, I had mentioned earlier, um, Robinson's playing a patient offense out there. They're running plays, and everybody's moving away from the ball. There's no standing around, and they've really been doing a good job. And when you're playing with a defensive ball club like T-Town, who's noted for their tight yes. defense, they've really done well. Well, as they continue with their Christmas halftime program, we'll remind you that the uh, restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson's open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner, Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion, EM Colder Post 69 in Robinson. And don't forget that Graves Auto Group has a variety of Ford products to choose from. The Ranger, now with four doors. The F-Series, all now with four doors. The Super Duty and 44 different models. The Expedition, the Explorer, and the Windstar, now all with dual power doors. And this is all now available at Graves Auto Group in Robinson. I hope that's candy they're throwing. Oh, I'm sure it is, and I tell you what, we can uh, very appropriately say as they throw some Hershey candy into the crowd that Hershey chocolate in Robinson is proud to be a part of Crawford County and they're pleased to support the students of the community in their youth activities. That's Hershey chocolate in Robinson. The first funny. half score is 27-21. Well, we're ready to go here in the second half. 27-21, and Maroons trail it by six, and we've had a good first half of basketball here tonight. I think everybody figured that T-Town would probably run the Maroons out of the gym. Uh, T-Town, a good, hard-running, good defensive ball club, and the Maroons struggling. They have played pretty well tonight, and they've hustled and worked hard. Both teams with the starters back in. McKeegan gets it across the timeline. Now to Hartrick, guarded by Custer. Back out to Homer. Sean looks for help, and it's stolen by Johnny King. He takes it down, gets help in the middle. Shot's Ooh. no good. Got away with one, maybe. Knocked away. That McKeegan again? I don't know. <laughs> he was back there in the crowd, so the Maroons survived that takeover. And we've got an offensive foul called against Jason Young. Well, legitimate. His second. T-Town. Prummer will bring it in bounds to Custer. And to Probst on the way. Maroon's open with his own. Custer thought about it. Bumped Hartrick away. Inside, Prummer. Doesn't get the roll. Loose ball. Anybody's ball comes out of there. Bo Slater, look out. Young on the wing. Guarded by King. Gets loose in the lane, gets the shot up. Jason got a score. Gets up in the air real well, doesn't it? Jason Young with a bucket, 27-23, a four-point ball game. Jason Young, double figures with 10. King in the corner. That's Metty with it in the middle. Gets it back out to King. He thought about it, takes it inside, gets a short jumper, and then it goes. 29-23. McKeegan gets it across the timeline, finds a hole, takes it down, short jumper, got it. Taking advantage of the opportunities, and that's what they got to do. Johnny King for three, comes up short, rebound. Hartrick, Maroons got it back. They trail it by four. They can cut into the lead here. To Hartrick. To Young. Homer with it, T-Town man-to-man. Inside Jeff McKeegan, off the glass and in. 
Nice break, nice pass. Two-point ball game, 29-27. King for three, won't go, rebound Jason Young, right, right place, right time. Young in the middle, got the shot, won't go. Picked off by Custer. Meddy, down in the corner to King. Cross court, look out. Probes didn't take it. Blocking foul is going to be called against McKeegan. <clears throat> Coach Everett works on him a little bit. The clerk doesn't listen. Brandon Hardeman <laughs> comes in. Personal foul number two on Jeff McKeegan. Second team foul. Sean Homer comes out as Brandon Hardeman checks in. Nice pass into Meddy. Works against Slater. Bo, good job on defense. He's fouled by Custer. Bo Slater did a good job on defense against Meddy. Stood his ground, partially blocked the shot, took it out of the air as he came down with it. He's fouled. Maroon's got the ball. Two-point ball game here. 29-27, T-Town by two. Hardeman. Mitch Custer picked up his third there. Hardeman brings it across the timeline. Brandon drives, puts up There's the shot. Charge. It's going to be a charge probably. Yes. Got offense, no basket. Hardeman's first, third team foul. Now we'll do it again. That's all right. Checking in now to, uh, is Wollenberg back in the lineup for T-Town. Crawford's unhappy. Oh, that's why <laughs> Wollenberg's the wrong place. That's no. why. <laughs> I thought he was yelling official. He wasn't. He had um, Willenberg check in the ball game, and Prummer hadn't come out yet. Over, he did. He palmed the ball. And they've been calling that tonight on both sides. That's, that's the second time against Custer. Same play. Maroon ball. Still 29-27, a two-point ball game. Full-court pressure by T-Town. Look out. Comes into Jason Young. King's on him. Jason, nice pass to Hartrick. Back out to Hardeman. Brandon, good pass inside, Bo Slater. Nice job. We're tied at 29. I bet nobody ever figured this in no the second sorry. half. King with it out front. Maroon's playing a man-to-man. -man. King again goes inside to Willenberg. Willenberg drives. Partially blocked by Slater. Slater's going to be called for the foul. But uh, Bo had the shot blocked. Got on his back a little bit. It'll be out of bounds to t -Tank. Fourth team foul, only the first on Slater. Custer brings it out deep to King. 29 all. Three and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Prummer moves in, loses the ball. What have we done here? Let's see. The uh, ball will stay with T-Town. <clears throat> King's got it out on the way. Maroon's playing hard defense. Lobs one in the corner to King. Fake, baseline, in a crowd, loose ball, picked up by Prummer, reverse layup. It's going to count, and we'll go to the line on this one. That's, Slater, I think. That's Doug Probst. Slater got the foul, his second, 15 foul. First Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you. And they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Slater comes out for a well-deserved rest. T-Town leads it by two, now three, as they complete the three-point play, 32-29. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. 
McKeegan brings it down against Custer. Jeff double team gets it across the line. Looks for help. Still got it. Drives all the oh he carried the ball. Got it lost on his hip. Yep. Tough break. Jeff got it caught on his hip. Got to step in there and call for traveling. But he had the uh, he had the lane to the basket. He did what he wanted. King with it outside. Inside. Rebound, Sean Homer. Maroons take it back. Still 32-29, T-Town. Jason Young. Tries to go inside, now Jeff McKeegan. Hartrick. And Homer. Tried to go inside, forced the pass, and it's taken away by Willenberg, and we've got a double dribble call. Maroons will keep it. Nobody argues. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated. 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. Loose ball. Knocked out of bounds, T-Town, right in front of us. Custer on the wing, lobs it inside to King. King puts it up, McKeegan knocks it away, but I think the foul was before Jeff got in there. It's going Slater, I think. Yep. Yes, his third. King will be at the line to shoot two. Three quick fouls against uh, Bo Slater here. Make your cleanup jobs easier this year with the Echo Leaf blowers and steel chainsaws from Real King Supply. See Real King Supply for all your cleanup needs. Located on Route 33 east of Robinson. 33-29. That's the first score for a while for anybody. Got them both. Make it 34-29. Te no, they gave it to the wrong side. Change the score, guys. It should be 34-29 and. Uh, the, uh, there we go, 34-29, a five-point lead by T-Town. Well, with over 40 styles to choose from, Aristocraft has what you're looking for, and that's a big buck is a place to get it. With our free in-home measuring and personal consultation, Big Buck offers the best of both worlds, the style of your liking and the expertise to help plan your own dream kitchen. So why not call today at 544-2138 and let Big Buck show you how cabinets become a kitchen. Big Buck Building Center in Robinson, helping you do the job for over 70 years. Well, the crowd's getting into it here, and uh, the Maroons are getting a lot of support tonight. They've played pretty well. I guess you'd say they've played very well when you're only trailing T-Town by five here in the third quarter. It's been a low-scoring game, a lot of defense. Both teams have played uh, pretty patient offense. Slater to Jason Young. Hardeman with a good screen goes into Brandon. Brandon works, looks for help, puts up the shot. Won't go. Rebound. Slater. He's fouled by. Oh, oh come no. on. Slater over the back. Uh, Meddy was. Meddy was going out into it. Meddy was going out into it. All depends on where you were standing, I guess. One and one situation. Steve Meddy will shoot. And uh, let's see. Um, Justin Hartrick will come back in a ball game for Bo here. Did he play the first half without any fouls? Yes. Got them all here in the uh, third quarter. Mm -hmm. Matty will shoot a one and bonus. Didn't get it. Rebound now. Let's go the other way. Hardeman with a rebound, and uh, Gaddis was on his back. What's this? Is this just their second team foul? That's right. A 
McKeegan will work against Custer. Gets it across the timeline. Jason Young now. And Sean Homer. Hartrick carried the ball. A minute six to go in the third quarter. Maroons trail it by five. King lobs it into Meddy. Knocked away oh. by Homer. Oh, taken away oh, by Meddy, and we got a jump ball call. T Tan will keep it. Got away with a little there, I think. <laughs> I'm surprised that the uh, composure of Coach Crawford tonight. He has been pretty he's quiet. Hardly been up. Been pretty quiet. Gaddis with it out front to King in the corner. Custer back to Gaddis, back to King. He'll pop a three here in a minute. Meddy works inside against Homer. Gets the shot up and in. I thought he shuffled his feet and he's making the move. 36-29. T-Town now out in front by seven. Hardeman. Brandon works inside. Spin move. Gets the shot. Got the shot. Brandon Hardeman with the score. 36-31. Five-point ball game. Quarter's going to end on that, I think. It's good if it goes. It don't. That'll end three quarters of play. Maroons trail it by five, 36-31. The restaurant at the American Legion Robinson is open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner and Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion EM Colder Post 69 in Robinson. Tonight's ball game is brought to you in part by Hershey Chocolate in the Robinson plant, where they manufacture Heath, Milk Duds, Sixlets, Paydays, and Whopper Candies. That's Hershey Chocolate right here in Robinson. Don't forget your uh, Kemper CPA group for your year-end tax planning strategies so that you're covered for all the new tax law changes. Good luck to the Maroons from Kemper CPA Group in Robinson. See Kemper CPA for all your tax needs. Well, for the second quarter in a row, uh, Maroons held a slight edge in scoring. Uh, I scored them 10 to 9. They still trail by five. Well, it's been a fun ball game. Not a high scoring game, but uh, there's been a lot of action. And uh, really impressed and pleased to see the change the way the Maroons have played. They, they really worked hard. Mickey Walton's uh, in the game here to start the fourth quarter with Young, McKeegan, Hardeman, and Homer on the floor as we start the final quarter here. 36-31, Maroons trail it by five. Hardeman for three. Doesn't get the rope. Rebound, goes in. Help. Jason Young comes out with it. Good work, though. And a foul's going to be called against Johnny King at T-Town. Maroons have got a ways to go before they'll shoot free throws, though. That was just the third team foul for Teotopoulos. Second foul on Johnny King. Knocked away by Custer. Look out. On the drive. Got it. Mitch Custer. On the steal and on the basket, 38-31. Official timeout. McKeegan jammed some fingers, it looks like. Well, the first Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. Locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine. And they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. The trainer will look at uh, McKeegan's hand. Hartrick and Mickey Wall, or Hartrick back in a ball game. Hardeman to Hartrick. Justin gets it over to Brandon Hardeman. Brandon moves inside. 15-footer, won't go. Rebound in the hands of Willenberg. Has uh, Hartrick put the ball up tonight? I don't think he has. 
cross court to corner. Johnny King for three. Comes up way short. Gaddis with a rebound. Loose ball picked out by Hardiman. Well, Justin can hit the three. He's passed up a couple of opportunities. Young drives the lane. 15 footer got the roll. Jason Young. Five point ball game. 38 33. Walton on King. Robinson with his own now, it looks like. T Town not moving very well on their offense. They want to kill some clock here. Gaddis lobs one in to King. Got it. Nice play by T Town. 40 33. They've got a seven point lead with six minutes to go in the ballgame. Hardiman on the floor. Got a tie up ball. Whose ball? T Town ball. McKeegan back in. Walton will come out. Gaddis. McKeegan on in. All over him. Good job by Hardiman over there on Custer. Knocked away by Homer. Down in the corners, Meddy gets it back. Custer, 15 footer, got it. Mitch Custer sinks it, 42-33. T-Town pulls out in front now by nine, plenty of time. They've been there before and the Maroons have worked on it and got back into the ball game. There's Jason Young, a little short, rebound Custer. Gaddis, back in the corner, Johnny King for three. Got that one. T-Town now, I think we're gonna see a timeout, 45-33 as they've jumped out by 12 here with five minutes to go. Well, Crawford Memorial Foundation sponsoring blood pressure clinics every Thursday from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. at HealthWorks. The expanded wellness center located north of the Crawford Memorial Hospital emergency and patient entrance. A registered nurse or a nurse's aide from Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency will be available every Thursday to take blood pressures. No appointments are necessary and walk-ins are welcome. Crawford Memorial Foundation, a strong foundation, ensures a healthy tomorrow. They do a full? Yes, they did. Whew. To rest a little bit here in the South, man. It's been a heck of a good ball game considering the way things, I think what we thought we were gonna see. Yeah. What we were afraid we were gonna see. Well, I think the Maroons here are, are proving a couple of things tonight. First of all, they've got the ability to play with these guys, and they've, they've got a completely different outlook on the ball game, a whole change in attitude with these guys tonight. They have really worked and really hustled. McKeegan brings it down in a hurry. Jeff in the lane, 15-footer, got it! 10-point ball game. McKeegan with 10 points. Gaddis again lobs that one in to King. They try to come back out. He stepped on the line. Robinson ball. The turnover will give it back to the Maroons. Hartrick will bring it in. Looks for help. Needs some help. Come on, guys. Gets it to McKeegan. Back to Hartrick. Get her down in a hurry, guys. Jason Young works outside. Hartrick. Wollenberg guards him. Look oh, out. Tip from behind. And a foul is called on the floor. On it's Custer. Custer. It's his fourth. If the Maroons could get to the line here with some time left would help. That's just a fourth team foul against T Town. Hartrick will bring it in, gives to McKeegan. 
So Custer with four and Bo Slater with four for the Maroons. Slater on the bench right now. No, Brandon. Slater's in the game. Oh, he's right in there. There he is right in front of me. Custer turnover. on the steal. Missed the layup. Loose ball. He's out of bounds. In and out. Maroon ball. Can start to see a little frustration coming out on part of the wooden shoes here. As the Maroons have, uh, now we're, here we go. Stolen away by Kane. Nice pass. Foul by Hartrick, but that was about all he could do in that case because Wollenberg was going to the basket. He'll shoot two. 45-35 ball game with 3.53 to go in the ball game. Wollenberg missed it. They've not shot their free throws very well tonight. That's yeah, they were three for four in the second half before this. Now they're three for five. Three for six. Fell off. Slater with a rebound. McKeegan will bring it down. Custer picks him up. Jeff to Hartrick. Back to Jason Young. 340 on the clock. Maroons trail it by 10. Block. Block. Nice block by King. Pulls it out of the air. T-Town controls it. Cross court. Custer for three. Won't go. Rebound. King. Loose ball. Jason Young in the right place. Coach Everett's right out there on the floor with him. Jason Young on the drive. Got it. Fourteen for Jason Young, having a good night. King for three. Comes up short, loose ball. Bo Slater, look out. Oh, he carried it. He carried it. Doggone it. Mm. Hardeman will pick Custer up. Custer drives back up. Wollenberg got it. 47-37, a 10-point lead again for Tia Topless with 2.20 to go here in the ball game. McKeegan brings it down. Custer guards him. To Hardeman, loose ball on the floor. Foul's going to be called against Mr. Gaddis. Off to you, topless. We've got two minutes and nine seconds on the clock. Still out of bounds for the Maroons. Team foul number five. Number three on Derek Gaddis. <laughs> Keegan. Jason Young guarded by King. Slater trying to work in the middle. And the foul's going to be called on King as Young went to the floor. This time we'll go to one and one. Will no, we? That's nope, still out of bounds. What do we got to get? After I, I six. forgot already. <laughs> how many? How many? Shoot on the seven. Oh, might as well. Young will bring it in from the first row of the bleachers. Jeff McKeegan. Got to get some shots here, guys. We're a minute 48 to go in the ball game. We're down 10. Knocked away. Good. Oh, oh. He Tip. went into the bench hard. That was uh, Wollenberg. The top has kind of stepped up their defensive yeah. uh, pressure here a bit in the last two or three minutes. This is probably the hardest they've played all night. McKeegan will handle the ball. We're at a minute 38. Justin Hartrick, T-Town's playing good defense. Good move, Slater, There's, and it's going to be offense. Yeah. It's a good call. It's a good set by Custer behind Bo Slater, and that'll uh, take him out of the ball game. 
and Bo turned right into it. It's a nice job on defense. Let's see, Sean Homer checks in. Minute 28, it's 47, 37. T-Town leads it by 10. This has been a heck of a ball game. Foul, Jeff McKeegan. Not much choice right now. They've got to get the clock stopped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shooting two now. Not though. yet. I have 10. Is it, is it after put, 10 or no, is it on, on the 10th? 10th? Okay, that's it. It's going to shoot two. Be sure you see the Kemper CPA group for your year-end tax planning strategy so that you're covered for all the new tax law changes. Good luck to the Maroons from the Kemper CPA group in Robinson. See Kemper for all your tax preparation needs. 48-37. 49. 12-point lead. T-Town seemingly has things under control. Jason Young moves inside, a little short. Rebound pulled down by King. Mugged under the basket. Foul's going to be called, and uh, that'll get the clock stopped anyway. But they'll go shoot two. King is two for three from the line tonight. <laughs> Now it's a 14-point lead with 112 to go. Hardeman, 18-footer, got it. And a timeout call by the Maroons. And let's see. Looks like it's going to be a full. 51-39 with less than a minute to go in the ballgame. Well, for the best deal in tires, stop in at Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. Well, one thing, we've seen a good one here tonight. 51-39, uh, it's a 12-point ball game right now, but only a couple times tonight has that point spread been that much as the Maroons have stayed right in the ball game all the way through it. They uh, even led it once, one time, I think, uh, back they, in the third quarter real they quick. They tied it at uh, 350 to mark of the uh, third quarter. I'm not sure they ever took the lead. Tied, it was tied at 29, wasn't right. it? <clears throat> Well, Time you, back in. You look at the score and it almost looks comfortable for Teotopolis, but it was not comfortable. It was it was a struggle for them. Oh, it's been a tough ball game for them. And the Maroons have played very well. Full court pressure. Custer takes it down. Let's see. Um, Stuart Shetty checked into the ball game number 15. I think he's the one that drew the foul on the play. Wade Scheimer in there now for the Maroons. Custer missed a free throw, and uh, Justin Hartrick will now come in for, for uh, Shetty. Got the roll on that one, make it 52-39, 13-point lead. Jason Young, good job, baseline to the basket. Again, a timeout call by the Maroons. 
52-41, an 11-point lead, 43 seconds on the clock. Well, nothing's impossible here. Coach Everett's still coaching. Yeah, he's been charged up tonight, too. Boy, I tell you, this, this whole team has worked hard, and, and the fans have worked hard. They've gotten good fan support tonight. They got in the ball game early on tonight, and uh, they've really been with it. A little bit surprised to turn out in T-Town. I figured there'd be a, a house full here tonight, but they didn't bring many yeah. folks here. Well, just all in all, not a very big crowd tonight, but I just think people didn't think it would be that good a ball game. And uh, I, again, I repeat myself, I, I think the Maroons have shown tonight that they can play with these guys. Defense, good job. The Keegan draws the foul, and that'll send uh, Steve Meddy to the line. And they only lost about, what, three seconds on the clock. Hartrick back in, Stewart or uh, Shuddy out. Stewart Shuddy, number 15. Got them both. 54 41. Oh, nice pass. Hartrick. Hartrick wide open. McKeegan saw him. And he got the clock stopped again. Now Teotopoulos is doing what they have to do, is go down and make the free throws. <laughs> Mitch Custer at the line made his first one. He's a junior, so he's gonna be around here a while. Another year, got them both. 55, 56, 43, 13 point ball game. We're under 30 seconds. McKeegan double teamed, gets it to Hardiman. Brandon drives the lane, 15 footer. In and out, rebound, back Hartrick. up and in by Hartrick, won't go. Down court all by himself is King. Got the cripple. Scheimer to McKeegan. Five seconds. Put her up. It's good if it goes, won't go. 58-43, a final. But the score don't tell the story, I'll guarantee you that. We'll pick up the totals here in a little bit. We'll thank our sponsors and make your cleanup jobs easier this year with Echo Leaf blowers and steel chainsaws from Real King Supply. See Real King Supply for all your cleanup needs. They're located on Route 33 east of Robinson. And don't forget that the uh, Graves Auto Group has a variety of Ford products to choose from, like the Ranger, now with four doors, and the F-Series, all now with four doors. The Super Duty in 44 different models. There's the Expedition, the Explorer, and the Windstar, now with dual power doors. All are now available at Graves Auto Group in Robinson. And don't forget that Hershey Chocolate's proud to be a part of Crawford County. And they're pleased to support the students of the community and their youth activities. That's Hershey Chocolate right here in Robinson. Well, uh, hope you got the uh, final because they wiped it off the board already. Our thanks to uh, the uh, AD, Terry Roach, and uh, for the help here tonight and uh, the cooperation that we always get as we set up for ball games here in Robinson. Coming up. Let's see, this is the last one we'll, we'll be doing before the Christmas holidays. Robinson now has uh, to travel to Charleston for the holiday tournament where they're gonna meet uh, the top seeded team in, team in the tournament, Muhammad Seymour, who is also a ranked team in the state. So the Maroons future is still gonna be pretty tough. They play uh, Tia Topless, uh, an excellent ball club here tonight and, and uh, nothing gets any easier for them as they go to the holiday tournament. We'll be back uh, after the first of the year 
uh, on Tuesday the 5th with Edwards County over at Palestine. You totaled up? Yes, I am. You hop to it. Okay, T-Town wins it here 58-43. Uh, as Jim said, the score doesn't uh, tell the whole story here, but that's the way it's going to be written up anyway. Their leading scorer of 21 points, Johnny King, a junior. And uh, Mitch Custer, 16, another junior. So you put those two together with uh, Gubzinski coming uh, next year as a junior, healthy. Uh, they'll be uh, they'll be good again. Good and, and big. And uh, Willem Borg, uh, another junior, I believe. Yep. No, no he's, he's a, a senior. senior. He's a senior. Okay, uh, 10 points for Willem Borg off the bench. Steve Meddy with six, three points for Doug Probst. 14 for 21 from the line, four three-point baskets, baskets, three of those by Johnny King, one by Mitch Custer. King a junior, by the way. Right. <laughs> so for Robinson, uh, Jason Young uh, with a fine night with 16 points. Jeff McKeegan uh, with 10, so there's 26 points out of the guard spots for the Robinson. Uh, came at a good time. Bo Slater with eight before fouling out. Uh, Brandon Hardeman with seven, two points for Justin Hartry. Two for two from the free throw line. What's this? They only went to the line twice, they were both those times in the second quarter. One three-point basket, that came from Brandon Hardeman. Rebounding, uh, Robinson with an edge, 19 to 16, and turnovers, I have Robinson with 19, and Teotapas with nine. So it's 58-43 final. Well, we hope you enjoyed tonight's ball game. It was a good one here in Robinson as the Maroons uh, fell to the Teotapas wooden shoes, but certainly nothing to be ashamed of here tonight. Uh, a different team than we've seen the last couple ball games, and they they played really well, an inspired ball game, and it was good to see the crowd get into it and get the support from the people here uh, in the gym tonight. Tonight's ball game has been sponsored by the First Robinson Savings Bank, the American Legion in Robinson, Cellular One in Robinson, Rural King Supply, Graves Auto Group, Crawford Memorial Hospital, Hershey Chocolate in Robinson, Marathon Tire, the Kemper CPA Group, Big Buck Building Center, Worldwide Sound and Video Production. For Ron Wheeler, Dwayne Shaw, I'm Jim Kincaid.